gang, thank you for stopping at Dunk. I'm going to get you. Hi, I'm here to pick up an on the go for Rich. Go ahead, you can pull forward. All right, thanks. I am on my way to Maryland and notice that no Genevieve, it's just me. I am on my way, I am flying solo. Got the Duncan on the way here, one of my old stomping grounds. I stopped here in a town where we used to live and got a, where I grew up actually, got myself a Duncan from the uh, Duncan Donuts down here. That's pretty cool. I know all the little spots to get the Duncan on the way. I get up to the window and she asks me if it's for Brittany. I'm like, do I look like a Brittany? <laughs> How soon they forget. I mean, I grew up in this town, right? I spent years and years, like a decade, getting the Dunkin' Donuts from that little Dunkin' Donuts. I don't recognize any of the people there. The whole place has changed, man. Times change, right? Times change. made it to Maryland. Even though I'm by myself, I miss my family, I miss Genevieve, I miss Michelle, but I have lots of ravioli and some other goodies to eat here, so I'm stocked up for the time that I'm going to be here, ready to go. I've got to get myself a scent-free shower. Boom! And just like that, I am ready. I am ready to go. I got my camo on, I got the scent lock on, and yeah, I'm a believer in the scent-free stuff. I am. It's a big part of the Death by Bungie crossbow hunting method. I talk about that in my books. And we'll see how it goes today, right? Every little bit helps. I will take every advantage I can get. I don't give up my advantages. That is one of my axioms, right? That's one of the rules that I set forth in the Death by Bungie crossbow method. Let's go out there and shoot a big buck, shall we? Ha! Leaving the hotel, I am heading to the hunting grounds, my favorite tree stand in Maryland. I really do like this tree stand. You'll have to forgive me, I have the air conditioning on. Well, gotta have the air conditioning on. Gotta stay nice and cool, right, until I get in the shade. I drove around my favorite spot here just to see what changed since last year, just to get my head around what might be going on, maybe help me predict what I can expect tonight. Holy traffic, man, I can't believe this place. There isn't a lot of ag. Normally, there's either milo or soybeans in each field, and they're very well cultivated, very well grown, very productive. And then you can see a browse line where the deer enter and eat and that sort of thing. You can see a browse line, but I got to tell you, those beans, the one field is picked clean. The beans must be six inches tall. It's complete loss for the farmer. The other field that I looked at is grown up with weeds. You can tell there's beans in there, and it's probably going to be okay for deer. It's going to be somewhat attractive to them, but it certainly isn't as productive as years past and other years that I've been down here. Now time, wow. All those people must be in a rush to go shoot their own deer. <laughs> New hunt over bait down here in Maryland. So the corn's going to be more attractive, though, either way, I believe, because there is less agriculture. So that, to me, just makes sense that, yeah, we're going to have a little more competition at the corn piles. Believe it or not, 14 consecutive trips, right, to Maryland. And one or two years, I've come down twice. Uh, in one year, that sort of thing. I really do enjoy it down here. It's a nice trip. It's not too far from my house. Uh, I know the place. I know the people. I kind of know where I'm at when I'm here. I know how to get around. I got uh, a favorite tree stand or two picked out, and that's real important. But I really feel good coming down here, and I'm so glad that I have that opportunity. I plan on coming down here as long as I'm able. So I'm here alone, and the reason I'm here alone, Genevieve has limited time off. She's got to save those vacation days. We do have a hunt planned, so she will be able to use her vacation days for that trip. And in addition to that, I can tell you that she's got taxidermy work to work on. Secondlifetaxidermy.com. You can check out her YouTube channel, Facebook page, that sort of thing. 
and there you go. The other question you're probably wondering about as I sit here at this red light waiting for traffic to clear is what crossbow did I bring? Hmm, that's an interesting question. So if you watched my last video there, or one of my recent videos, you saw what happened to the Raven on fire. Hey, you know, I'll poke one through there if we can. Right, that has been a very rough start for that Raven. Uh, I just never really got the hang of that just yet. It's gonna be around for a while. We'll have plenty of time to try it out, test it, and do all that good stuff. Fortunately, I have lots of crossbows, but I am sitting in here and I have a single crossbow with me on this trip to Maryland. I decide I'm only going to bring one crossbow. There's a few reasons for that, and uh, I'll lay in on that as these videos are underway, as they progress, as my crossbow journey in Maryland continues. But for right now, I can tell you there is a single crossbow in this truck with me, and I can't wait to unload it and get in the tree stand. In five, four, three, two, one.
Woo, I am kind of tired. It's been a long day. Been up since 5 o'clock. Drove to Maryland, a five, six hour trip. Got down here, got in the tree stand, got checked in the hotel. Saw 20 deer probably. Man, what a great night this was. It's just like the old times. I got a text from friend of Bungie, Jim, one night archer, said, seeing 20 deer with Bungie is just like the old days. I don't know. I said, no, not exactly. Because in the old days, Bungie and I would have shot two or three of them. <laughs> Almost shot that eight point. Again, if it was like the old times, I would have shot that eight point, right? I would have shot that eight point and bragged about it. Man, and I'm still kind of kicking myself. Had I gotten a good shot later in the night, I was a little hesitant to shoot that eight point because I wasn't sure if another buck was going to come in, right? You just got that, I got that feeling. Remember last year, I was down here with the enforcer and I saw a real nice eight point I was going to shoot and then my biggest buck of all time for me came out and I shot that buck instead. So... I'm in the waiting mode, especially on day one. I can fill a doe tag probably later in the trip if I have to, and I have plenty of meat in the freezer back home, but I am excited about seeing what inventory of bucks they got down here. I'm a big buck hunter now. Bungie and I are big buck hunters now, right? We are deer snobs, so there. But we'll see how it goes. End of day one. Day one of my journey with the Bungenator with Bungie. Keep following this little journey. I'm gonna do these vlogs throughout this whole trip, okay? I'm gonna do it vlog style, vlog style. Remember we used to do a lot of vlogs? Genevieve always made fun of me because I called them vlogs, but we're gonna do some vlogs. I hope you enjoy them. And I'm gonna tell you the whole story of why it's just me and Bungie on this trip. 